Trick Tutorials, and today I'll be teaching you how to speed up Windows 7. This applies for all the Windows 7 versions, meaning Windows 7 Ultimate, Home Premium, Basic, whichever one you have. And some of these, these tips and tweaks also apply for other Windows operating systems, including Windows XP and Vista, and any other ones, <coughs> any other ones that you can think of, um, depending on when you are watching this. So. Let's get started right away. Go to Start, right-click on Computer, and go to Manage. That should bring this up right here, and you're going to go into Services and Applications, Services, and then you're going to select the any of them. Just hit W. You're going to find Windows Search. Double-click on that. Startup Type. Go to Disabled. The um, default is usually automatic delayed start just go to disabled and hit OK and then you can just X out of that next go to start right click on computer go to properties then go to advanced system settings go to advanced performance settings adjust for best perform performance and hit OK so that'll bring you to a Windows 7 classic theme if you can, um, if you're aware of the Windows XP Classic theme, then it kind of looks like that, but a little better because Windows 7 is a little better. Also, if you don't want the Classic theme, just go to Custom and enable the um, effects that you do want. So I'm okay with letting Windows choose what's best for me, which means that it basically just chooses what looks the best. I know it's kind of weird, but that's what it does. Next, go to Start Computer, Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, where it says Don't Show Hidden Files. Go to Show Hidden Files. And I'm just going to do that once more. Folder Options, View, Show Hidden Files. Hit OK. And X out of that. Next, go to Start Control Panel. Go into Programs, Turn Windows Features on or off. And actually, I did not mean to go there. Went to the wrong one. Go to Programs and turn Windows features on or off. So I'll just X out of this. And this should take some time to load. And so I unchecked games since I don't play any games at all. Um, you can then check a ton of things in here. As you can see, I have. So, um, anyways, just to check what you don't want, it basically temporarily gets rid of or uninstalls the thing, um, and then when you check it, it brings it back. So, hit OK. And then another thing you might want to do is right-click on your speaker, go to Sounds, and then go to Sound Scheme, go to No Sounds, and where it says Play Windows Startup Sound, deselect it, and hit, hit OK. Now, right-click on your desktop, go to Personalize, Go to Windows Color, and where it says Enable Transparency, deselect that, and choose um, a color that you want. So, what save changes. Next, what you want to do is go into Screensaver. I have no Screensaver. That is recommended uh, if, you, if you want it to be a little faster. So, I'm not going to hit OK because that was my default settings. Then go to run if you're an XP or start R at the same time type in MS config and then make sure it's on selective startup because we're going to be changing things I'll bring these back to normal so don't mind any of this there so what you're going to do is go into timeout change that to 3 go to no GUI boot go to advanced options go to number of processors go to your max number of processors I have two so hit OK and also you can disable services by unchecking them or checking them if you want to enable them also go to startup and you can also um, uh, it will if you have I'm trying to figure out how to say this but if you have a ton of things that are starting up when you start up your computer that will definitely slow it down I only have two because I basically disabled all of it so you can just uncheck them and then hit apply and OK I've already these were my default settings so I'm just going to hit cancel and then what you can do is you're going to get this reset RAM history 
I'm just going to go to edit. I'm going to copy this so I don't have to just remember it. Then you're going to go into start notepad, paste that code, file, save as. Go to save as type, all files. I'm just going to name it reset.bat and save. That'll bring up something like this. Double click it or right click one as an administrator. I don't know if you see that, the command prompt, but it's basically resetting your RAM history whenever you do that. Next, I'm going to show you how to add God mode, um, the feature in Windows 7 and Vista. Don't do this, if I'm correct, don't do this in Vista if you are using 64 bit. So I'm just going to copy this right here. Control C or right click and copy. And then I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to New Folder, and I'll paste that right there. Just hit Yes if you already have it. So I'll just delete these two God Mode ones, and I'll show you how to change the name. So when you add a new folder and you paste this, and you open it, it's basically all of the control panel bundled into one. Makes it easier to find things because you can like search, and it just sorts them all out. So also, if you want to change the name, just select it or right and click, rename, I'll name it Jake. And then also if you want to rename it from here before the dot, just get rid of God mode and change it. So those uh, are the few options on how to change the stuff in God mode. Next, go down to the registry tweaks for Windows 7. They will be in a RAR folder and to open those you need WinRAR or some um, RAR opening um, program so you just wanna download WinRAR because it's it's a free trial but it never ends so it's basically an unlimited trial program that opens RAR folders so you just wanna extract that double click on registry tweaks for Windows 7 and hit yes, hit OK, and it should speed up your computer a lot. So next, you can go to CCleaner's official website, which will be in the description. And by the way, all this will be in the description. I have the portable, so no, I did not make this portable. It's on the official website. You have a choice between downloading the installer and or the portable. I chose the portable because it's smaller and I didn't have to install it. So kind of saved a little time. What that does is it removes all the history cookies, all the um, things that you really don't need for your computer that just slows it down. So uh, it's basically it. I want to show you one more thing. If you right click on any program, I'll actually just copy this right here and paste it into this code thing so I can just paste it into the description. There we go. So the, these are the codes you're going to be needing for my tutorial, by the way. So right click on a um, shortcut, or any program, honestly, hit space and type in prefetch colon one. So that's P R space P R E F E T C H colon one. So make sure there is a space though, or else it won't work. And hit OK. So I'm just going to type that again one more time. Prefetch colon one. Hit OK, and that should make the thing load a lot faster. Now, if you have any other tips for how to speed up Windows 7, include those in the comment box, and I'll be more than happy to make a new tutorial. Um, I'm not going to delete this one, but I'll, it'll kind of be a part two for the tutorial or a more in-depth um, how to speed it up anyways. So I'm also going to include the link on where I found all these tips and tweaks, tricks for how to speed this up. So again, if you um, if you want any other tutorials, just request them. You can PM me. And I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to make some more soon.